Hi Year 12s! Today we will look at steady state Markov chains. Steady state Markov chains is the idea that as the time period heads towards infinity, then a two state Markov chain state vector will stabilize. The steady state probability matrix is equal to t to the power of n as n approaches infinity. Basically, the idea here is that if we keep multiplying the initial state vector, like we showed in the last video, the initial state becomes less important and the conditional probability transition matrix decides the likelihood over a large period of time of whether the probability of the system is in state 1 or 0. Luckily for us, there is an easier way to find the steady state than putting the conditional probability to the power of infinity. Once we reach the steady state, we will find that the next time period will be equal to the previous one, that is, x of n plus 1 will equal x n. And if we look at our usual Markov chain probability calculation, we'll see that the probability of the next period equals the transition matrix times by the current period. To get the elements of our transition matrix, we will set the probability of state 1 in the future, given state 0 in the present, to be A. And we will set the probability of state 0 in the future, given state 1 in the present, to be B. Therefore, our other two possibilities will be the probability that given it was initially state 0, it will also be state 0 in the future, which is 1 minus A, and the probability that given it was initially state 1, that it will also be state 1 in the future, which is 1 minus B. Therefore, if we substitute these values into the transition matrix and the current state in for the future state, we get a new matrix that has two equations and two unknowns. Therefore, we can expand the matrix and solve for the steady state probabilities. Probability of state 0 equals 1 minus A, probability of state 0 plus B times state 1. Probability of state 1 equals A times probability of state 0 plus 1 minus B times probability of state 1. Now, we also know that since it is a two-state system, that the probability that it is state 1 is simply 1 minus state 0. Now, we can sub this into equation 1 and then move all the state 0 terms over to the left and take out the common factor. Therefore, the probability of state 0 is b over a plus b, and the probability of state 1 is 1 minus that, which is equal to a over a plus b. Let's take a look at the multiple choice question 8 from exam 2 in 2013. When Xenia travels to work, she either drives or takes the bus. If she takes the bus to work one day, the probability that she takes the bus to work the next day is 7 over 10. If she drives to work one day, the probability that she drives to work the next day is 3 over 5. What is the long-term probability that Xenia will take the bus to work? As soon as we are asked about the long-term probability, then we know that we need to find the steady state of a Markov chain. So if we choose state 1 to be that she takes the bus, and state 0 to be that she drives, we just need to find our A and B terms. A is equal to the probability that she takes the bus, state 1, given that she drove the day before, state 0 which is 1 minus 3 fifths, which equals 2 fifths. The probability that she drives, state 0, today, given that she took the bus yesterday, state 1, is equal to b. This is 1 minus 7 tenths, which equals 3 tenths. Then we plug it into our equation for steady state. Probability state 1 equals a over a plus b, which equals 2 fifths over 3 tenths plus 2 fifths. That equals 2 fifths over 7 tenths, which cancels down to 4 sevenths. So the multiple choice answer is C. It is critical to state which is your state 1 and state 0 at the start of the question to limit any confusion. Then you just need to remember your formula and the question isn't so hard. Happy studying!